What's up? Scar gums mad as hell. She got jumped. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into the mess concerning the reunion that aired last night on the Zeus Network for Baddies East. Girl, it was a hot mess, and I am ready to get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. I mean, like, let's go. <laughs> At the reunion, when E.T. came out on stage, baby, when I tell you, this girl, when, when E.T. came out on stage, all hell broke loose, child. So, of course, because, I mean, she technically is the one that got things popping and then it just went downhill from there. She had a lot to say about the reunion itself and she had a lot to say about what she's seen on her screen. First of all, of course, she's going to say how she feels like the editing was not in her favor. This, that, and the third. And she spoke on the situations, how she got jumped, this, that, and the third. Let's just go ahead and see what she had to say. It's very ironic that her whole storyline was... I because I got jumped to turn around and jump somebody at a reunion. Ain't that ironic? Your storyline about getting jumped and then you turn around and jump somebody. You didn't like the feeling, but you don't mind making somebody else feel that way. I could, I could take my ass getting a one on one treatment. I could take that. But to find out that Camilla kicked me in my I'm like, I thought it was just Biggie that kicked me in my head. But it was Camilla kicking me in my head. I don't know what Tata Sky was doing. Then I was right when I pulled up on motherfucking Mariah ass. And I wanted to motherfucking. I told her I want my one on one because you tried to jump me, bitch. The bitch talking about, I never tried to jump you. Bitch, what? I see you over here trying to swing. My security trying to break up shit, bitch. That's called jumping, bitch. Um, it's supposed to be like a viral fight for me. They play with the angles and never in my favor. Like, I'm not trying to be cool with Smiley. Talk to her. I'm, I seen her son on the phone. I talked to her mom. She talked to my kids. For this bitch to turn around and go to the weed distributor, that uh, Empire Genetics, and she deletes my video off of they shit. I, I can't wait for Sapphire part to come up. I didn't even try to fight Suki at the reunion, and she still tried to fight me. Bitch, I just she got jumped. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm worried about people who already attacked me. I'm like, let me catch my breath. I'm about to sit here. Yeah, let, let these bitches talk, and I need that again. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, they all was plotting. I don't give a fuck. They definitely was plotting. And I ain't tripping. My God is good. <laughs> Biggie, when I when Tsiggy fell, right? And I got it on top. They edit. So they they cut all out. Motherfucking. The security guard came right between us. Biggie kicked me. She fell. Because when she kicked me, they grabbed her after she kicked me. I didn't know. Here come. I was wondering. Here came. I, I, I thought it was. I thought it was Anna. I really did. I didn't know. That's why I was like, I had to wait to see that shit. But it was Camilla kicking me from the other side. Then, um, somebody was pulling my dress. <clears throat> to see, he pulled the wig. They told us to sit down. They said, when y'all walk out, you sit right here, you sit right here. As soon as we walk out, everybody already standing up. Yeah, ready. Mm -hmm. Everybody already standing up. And I knew this bitch to see, had asked for more time. So security wasn't going to come on stage immediately. See, I'm smarter than people think. So I'm like, oh, you ready? They're going to give you your time. So that means it's going to take them a minute to get on this motherfucking stage. Oh, I'm, 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 I know where I'm going. What the fuck are you talking about? All right, so clearly she had a mouthful, as always, child. That's what got her in this position in the first place because the girl can't stop running her dick suckers, child. 
Like, geez, girl, you still ain't learned yet. Oh, girl. Anyways, <laughs> so she starts off by saying, basically calling Testiki out for being a hypocrite. Let's just really call it what it is. She was calling Testiki out for being a hypocrite because prior to E.T. coming out on stage, Tessiki had a heartfelt moment with the other girls because, of course, they played the clip back where Krishan, you know, she got her friends, she got her little lap dogs to jump on her sister, okay? So, Tessiki was emotional because of that, so E.T. took it upon herself to call out Tessiki for basically being a hypocrite. She said, your entire storyline and personality on the show, <laughs> she didn't say all that, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of added that part in. Anyways, I'm going to continue to add my little spice on it child she said plus my little spice she said basically in so many words that tessiki is a hypocrite okay because her entire personality <laughs> and storyline on the show was basically her being jumped by her sister and of course her having to deal with that you know a deal with how it affected her clearly because like i said girl the girl that got jumped out her personality child so clearly her getting uh jumped by her sister's friends and set up by her sister affected her throughout the entire show so et basically is like well girl if, if this affected you so much and it hurt you so much you know what I'm saying? Why and you hate how your sister made you feel why would you put that pain onto somebody else? Why would you jump me and why would you condone your friends jumping me when you got jumped, you made it your entire personality on the show. This was your only storyline on the show. <laughs> Here I am putting stake on it again. <laughs> that was your entire personality and storyline on the show. And you, you, you're you so hurt by it. You were so, you know what I'm saying? You, baby, it was painful. You know, your sister betrayed you. You you hated how uh, she made you feel. It made you feel bad. You was crying on stage. You was crying with the girls. This, that, and the third. You was emotional about it every single time somebody even bring it up. But you did it to me. Why? You're a hypocrite. That's pretty much uh, the gist of what E.T. started off the live by saying. And it's like, I... Child, E.T., I cannot... This is what I cannot with this victim stuff with E.T. She literally, like, she gives me a headache. She gives me a headache. Because my thing is, is you... Do you not remember what you got on live and said? <laughs> do you not remember what you got on live and said? prior to you even walking out on stage, prior to the reunion even starting. Remember this, and these weren't my words, okay? They said, ain't no rules in fighting. Remember that. Remember that. Because I will. I'll be trying to give people fair ones. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't got to do that. And don't get me wrong. I feel like it is very pussy to jump. Don't get me wrong. But you cannot, like, you cannot go on live, talk all that mess about, about, about this, <laughs> like, E.T. Lord. Like, you can, you cannot talk all that mess. Not only are you talking a mess about everybody in the same house, and then you turn around and get on live and say that there is no rules there, there's no rules when it comes to fighting, which they're technically, uh, you're not wrong, but it's like, there's technically ain't no rules when it comes to fighting, but it's like, you can't sit there and say that and then imply on the live that you're not going to be running any fair fades. So why the hell should they come to the reunion running any fair fades? Like, <laughs> Man, I just don't get it, chow. But no, I don't condone jumping at all, but it's just like, I just cannot with the victim stuff. Like, and then you, again, E.T., you took it there. When, when it came to these girls and you arguing back and forth with these girls, you took it there every single time, especially with Tessiki. Baby. Baby, you, 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 you entertain some lies. You entertain some lies or rumors about me and, and, and call me Molesky. Okay, and you 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 entertain some lies and or rumors about me. I don't know if they're lies or not, but you you chat. If I say it's a lie, it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? If if I say something is a lie and you entertain it about me and it's a rumor and it cuts and and it's deep, baby, it runs deep. Family trauma and I, it it girl, ooh, baby, listen. Okay, you gonna have to call the ambulance to get me and my friends up off of you, ma'am. Okay, like I said, I don't condone it. 
But I'm telling you, if, if my if my friends in that moment feel like they want to get up on get up on that ass because you was running your mouth about me on social media and you really was taking it there, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Like, cause because girl, you like I said, like you really took it there. Not only did you not only take it there, but you came for every you came for everybody in that house. Not only that, but again, you got on live and was already implying that you was not running no fair face at the reunion chill girl anyways and then you chill and technically tessiki didn't jump you tessiki ran a fair fade with you she caused it she called out your fate she told you to square up after you did what you did to natalie so technically she didn't jump you in the midst of her getting you they jumped you so yeah hold the friends accountable anyways so she also spoke on Camila getting a little Chun Li's in and baby um again I think I think that it's I think it's scary you know what I'm saying like if Camila really had an issue with ET she should have called you know what I'm saying you could you should have called out her fade but you didn't you know what I'm saying you know you you stuck up for your fan you 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 did what you did for your friend child I don't know what else, I, I don't know what to say about her getting jumped like I, I, again, I feel like it's not right, but you, you, again, you, girl, karma gonna spin that block every single time. I just, girl, I don't know what to say. Anyways, um, so she also spoke on how Smiley, I guess, you know, took, a took a child. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna speak on that. Like, cause that's just another thing for another. She said that her and Smiley were cool. Smack, Smiley ended up backdooring her when it came to some business. And that's just what it is. Um, she said the girls were getting her. She said that she did not know that Camila um jumped in. She thought that that was Biggie who got her, who chung lead her. She said that she called out Mariah Lynn's fade for jumping in. And Mariah Lynn tried to lie and say that she didn't jump in when baby clear as day. I don't know if Mariah Lynn lied and said that because, you know, E.T. is a little, uh, a little liar herself. You know, she's Miss Lion, but she's Miss Liar Boots herself, child. So I don't know if she said it just yet. We're going to see. But... Uh, I, I don't know why Mariah Lynn would deny it, baby. It's literally on camera. You were literally jumping her while she was, <laughs> when she got her one with Natalie, you were literally jumping. Like, I don't know why. That. I don't know why she would deny that. She also spoke on how, um, Zeus, of course, like I mentioned earlier, they were editing stuff and that was not in her favor, which honestly, I feel like is not true. I feel like that's that victim stuff that I be talking about when it comes to E.T. And I feel like that is not true because, baby, uh, uh, the, the way that they edited it, baby, first glance, girl, I thought you was getting Tessiki. I didn't think you won, but other girl, I mean, and I still think that you kept up with Tessiki. Don't get me wrong, but girl, I thought you, I thought you did a, with that first glance, me peeping it for the first time without slowing it down, girl. I thought, girl, who, girl? You talking about some Zeus? Uh, Zeus uh, wasn't edited into your favor. She, girl, uh, you, girl, you couldn't convince me otherwise, child. <laughs> Plus, they showed you, uh, you know, they showed that you did Natalie up, like you know what I'm saying. And Natalie's the EP, so they, I, I just don't understand what she means by they did not edit it in my favor. How you got in two fights, one of them you won, girl. You girl, that chair was flipped over within seconds, girl. Okay, had Natalie swimming on that floor, and then the second fight, girl, you was just windmilling away. Like, I don't understand how they're, <laughs> I don't understand how they're supposed to edit that to make you, girl. Like I said, there is only so much that you can edit. Okay, so she also spoke on basically how Natalie, you know, she, 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 girl, she said that she is smarter than what we give her more credit for. And it, to, to a certain extent, I definitely agree. And I said this in my recap. I feel like E.T. is, because, you know, she, I feel like the way she comes off, she comes off dumb as a box of rocks, especially in her confessionals. You know what I'm saying? She comes off as like a mindless lap dog that just hops on the bandwagon of her superiors. You know what I'm saying? And their beef and who doesn't have a mind of her own, who got to lie to make up storylines. So she kind of comes off as a airhead. But when you think, when like she said, when you think about how she, how she approached the whole thing with Natalie, 
it, it's like, you know, like, it, I don't know, like, she kind of like, you know, she like, I, I think she was kind of smart for how she kind of went about it. Do I feel like she was lying about the reasoning as to why she did what she did to Natalie? Absolutely. Like, I just don't, like, I don't understand why you're important enough for Natalie to set you up. And don't get me wrong. Natalie has a track record of setting up the girls, which is why I feel like E.T. went with that lie because it's believable. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's believable. You're from Now That's TV. You're clearly, I'm not going to say the underdog, but the underdog. You're from Now That's TV. You're the underdog. You're technically not even supposed to be here. You're here. This is clearly your last season. They're clearly not going to bring you back. You know what I'm saying? Um, Natalie was never your friend. She used you, babe. Maybe, and everybody peeped that. I feel like she honestly peeped that. And you just wanted a reason to do your big one before you exit Zeus. Like, let's really keep it a buck. I would have respected her more if she would have just said that. But she went with a lie, or what I feel like was a lie, that she was told by production that Natalie was going to set her up. I feel like that is a lie. Why would produ- Seriously. Why would production set up? Because by by production telling you that Natalie planned to set you up or that Natalie was going to set you up, that's them setting up Natalie. Why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would they, especially because how we know how biased they are. Uh, no, girl, you, you, girl. But the way she went about it was smart because that's the only way that she was going to be able to get Natalie. They were going to let her square with Tessiki regardless of anything. You know what I'm saying? So... That's the only way she was going to be able to get Natalie if she really wanted to get Natalie for whatever reason, child. You know what I'm saying? I honestly feel like she wanted to just do her big... I think that she knew she was not going to be brought back for another season and she wanted to do her big one before she exited. And she probably caught on to how Natalie was using her. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? But it's like, girl... Are you talking about Natalie was going to set you up? Girl, no. You set yourself up by by doing all that talking. Okay, doing all that talking in between the season, baby. You set yourself up. You was the one who called out almost half the cast. You was the one on live popping it. You was the one in comments popping it, baby. You was the one on your story on Instagram popping it. So it's like, you you was talking about Natalie set you up. No, baby, you set up yourself. Like, what are you talking about? Anyways, so she basically said that she, again, she is smarter than what we give her credit for because she went out on stage. She seen how it was set up and she seen that everybody was already standing up once her and Rolly came out on stage. So she was like, I know who I'm going to go for. You, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like she's smart, girl. If you really want to get Natalie for whatever reason, you done concocted up in that head of yours, child, the, the, re, the, the way to do it is to rush her. Like, that's really what it is. That's the unfortunate truth. Like, Natalie is on a show as talent, but she's not treated as such. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really, and if Natalie got a problem with a girl, then you need to get behind the scenes, baby, because don't nobody feel bad. Don't nobody feel bad, girl. Okay, you look, you know what I'm saying, girl. You you don't want to be talent. You don't want to be treated like ta- talent. You don't want to be handled like talent. You need to get up off the stage and stop. Not off the stage, but you need to stop like classifying yourself as talent if you don't want that talent work. That's just what it is. So yeah, um, that's just what it is. Uh, I see what she meant when she say that. Do I feel like it was kind of a cop out to get out of her fight with Tessiki just a little bit? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like that's that that was the only way that she was gonna get Natalie if she really wanted to. But I do kind of ET girl, I do kind of feel like you ain't want that, you ain't want to start off with that getting that work from Tessiki. That's how I feel. So I don't know, girl. So y'all know during the reunion, Biggie and Smiley got into it. And girl, when I tell you, Biggie slapped this girl down, girl, big girl slapped her down, girl, down to the ground. <laughs> It wasn't funny, but it's like, girl, like it was so unnecessary. It's just like, chow. But anyways, Smiley spoke out and she was talking her ish just a little bit, girl, just a little clip that she did reacting to this scene. Let's go ahead and get into it. Shit, ain't nobody defend me. Ain't nobody standing to pain for me. Shit, so I'm not standing to pain for nobody. Shit, ain't nobody defend me. Ain't nobody standing to pain for me. Shit, so I'm not standing to pay for nobody. You let me go down by myself, which is cool. You got a paper in your hand that said nigga to get the f out. But and I you went out and some David. why didn't you go to the club in this? You should have went to the club oh. and that after the started to kick you out. But you I'm went saying, to the club in some heels. Weird, on some weird shit. Bro, when I hopped out the truck, ET and 
dumbass Roly was standing right there. I looked at you in the truck and I said, Smiley, what you doing, nigga? And you said, I got you. Girl, listen, all right, so I feel two ways when it comes to this. I feel like if Smiley really did tell Biggie that she was going to have her back, which I doubt that's what she said. And honestly, it, okay, so my thing is, so let me finish my sentence. I feel like if Smiley did agree to, to, to take off on Roly, then okay. You know what I'm saying? Then okay, girl, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you should have kept your word. However, okay, it didn't seem like... It really didn't seem like from how Biggie described it, it didn't seem like Smiley was just like, okay, like, I'm gonna have your bag, we're gonna... It didn't sound like that. It sounds like you damn near forced her to do it or you were trying to force her to do it. It sounds like you try, you 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 kind of tried to intimidate her into doing it and she kind of folded in that moment because we all know that Smiley is a p and if you tell Smiley to do anything, she's either going to agree or she's not like she, Smiley is not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, unfortunately, like she's very much picky choosy. I think we already established this by now. She don't got mouth. She don't she, girl. She has no type of mouth with anybody unless you are significantly smaller than she is, baby. Other than that, she is on mute. OK, you know what I'm saying, baby? You know, Smiley has different personalities. So, again, I feel like, yes, Smiley is wrong, girl. If you didn't want to do it, you should have just said that you weren't going to do it instead of being, you know, scary and being easily intimidated into agreeing to do something that you knew good and damn well you was going to do. Smiley is wrong for that. But let's keep it a buck. Biggie has been fi fishing for an issue with Smiley. So I agree with Smiley to a certain extent too because it's like, again, who are you to tell me what to do? But at the same time, if it was me, if I, if I don't want to do it, I'm going to tell you I don't want to do it. <laughs> It's like, I agree with Smiley, but it's like, if you know you didn't want to do it, why would you agree to do it? You know what I'm saying? But again, that does not change the fact that I feel like Biggie has been fishing for an issue. Biggie needs uh, some type of flunky. She needs somebody weaker than she is to, to, to pounce upon. That's just how I feel. Like, it really is. Because if you... If you did, so why you ain't get your issue in the house you know what i'm saying like you and biggie i mean sorry you and smiley literally did a scene the morning after in front of the house and you didn't say anything about that you got on her a little bit for you know not sticking up for herself but you didn't say nothing about this little plan that you guys were like you i feel like biggie kind of just pulled this out of her ass as a storyline for the reunion and a reason to get smiley because you never like smiley you never like smiley Let's keep it a buck. You laughed at her when she was having a seizure. Let's keep it a buck. When she had her MC before you guys um got the little eviction notice, baby, you was nowhere to be found. You never, like she said, you never stood in a pain for her. You never stuck up for her. You never had her back. Why would she go out of her way to have yours? It don't make no sense. What? <laughs> what but at the same time it's like i kind of get biggie's frustration because you know smiley went from you know i feel like they both got eviction notices but it was at a certain point where they kind of forgot about smiley and just you know they focus all their energy on biggie and i feel like that that's another reason why she really could be mad because i don't know if y'all remember but after um biggie did sneak um you know what i'm saying after she did sneak et at the club the day after et was hiding in the bushes girl like a thief in the night and she and, and girl you know biggie y'all know what happened child she threw the water bottle she pounced on biggie you know what i'm saying and they was throwing water balloons this at a third they were shouting stuff at biggie it was it was really bad but you know here here comes smiley you know jumping in the pool having a good old time child and she's not worried about nothing so i feel i don't know Maybe because they focus more energy on Biggie at that certain point than they did on Smiley. Maybe Big, I, I, Biggie just never liked Smiley. I feel like Biggie never liked Smiley. Even when Biggie first, first, first got into the house and that whole MC thing came out, you know what I'm saying? It was Sukiana, Sapphire, um, yeah. <laughs> Sapphire, Sukiana. Mariah Lynn and Roly against Smiley. You know what I'm saying? They was girl that was tag teaming her back to back. Girl, the girl got jumped. Biggie, I rewatched that scene, and Biggie had a, a lot to say for someone who just got into the house. Like you, in that moment when you first got into the house, and the whole MC thing came out, and it was it was like five on one when it came to Smiley, baby, and she, and girl, she was fresh out the hospital. You had so much to say. 
and you did not know what was going on because you just got there. And I never noticed that until now. And this was before the whole eviction thing. So again, you never had her back. You never spoke up for her. You never stood in the pain for her. So why would she do it for you? Smiley barely stands up for herself. Why would she stick that? <laughs> Why would you expect her to stand up for you? It don't make no sense. Please make it make sense. She barely stands up for herself. Girl, N Natalie be all in her face, um, yelling, girl, in her ear, yelling, girl. N she don't do nothing. She don't ever do anything unless, again, uh, it's somebody way smaller than her. The girl don't even stand up for herself. I don't know why you thought she was going to stand up for you, child. And no shade, like you ate down when you when you snuck E.T. because E.T. was tripping by touching your stuff and trying to evict you. So you ate that down, but it's like you <laughs> like you want somebody else to participate in your shenanigans. Like, girl, no, that don't make no sense. And then you're gonna try to, and then months later, you gonna slap, you gonna slap me down over something that you held in for this long girl. Biggie ain't never spoke up on this chat. She never, um, after the season ended, she spoke up on Smiley a lot because again, like she said, she felt like Smiley was playing victim a lot, which is another thing. Like, girl, you said about like, like five different reasons. Like you, like I said, I feel like Biggie really just wants a reason to not like Smiley. And I feel like she wanted a reason to make herself feel good about doing that because I feel like she is trying to impress House B. Uh, you needed somebody weaker than you. Let's keep it a buck. You did. You did. You needed somebody weaker. Um, but like I was saying, what was I saying, child? ADHD, girl. Thank y'all so much for all of the love and support. That's all I have for y'all today. Please, girl, I just know by the end of the day, we can get me to 18K subs. Your girl is growing so fast. Thank y'all so much again. Like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. I'm out. Bye.